Although the official end of summer, Labor Day, is still a week away, the unofficial end of summer, that is, some people are already preparing for Halloween. News Channel 12 reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us live in Santa Maria to show us what's going on. Well, this Halloween store has been open for a few days, but it's already getting busy with customers anxious to celebrate Halloween. Some of these customers at Spirit Halloween say staying at home during the pandemic is driving them nuts. And I was tired of being at home, uh, taking my curse. Of course, I took precautions to staying at home. I was so bored and I felt like I was uh, going into a depression staying at home. So when they saw this pop-up store open, they decided to start getting ready for Halloween already. <laughs> well, I'm uh, all excited. I was passing by to see if it was open and I was just couldn't wait. I like everything they have here. It's super exciting, super exciting. I, Halloween has always been my favorite um, time of year. I, it's, I, I just, I love everything about it. And I like to see the kids out and about. Some have already decided what they're going to be for Halloween. This year, I think we're gonna be uh, either a, a clown or we're gonna be zombies. Store managers say due to the pandemic, some of their shipments have been delayed, but they're still putting out supplies every day. We will eventually get everything. And then it's, it's just taking longer to get it. Store managers say customers are rushing in faster than the amount of supplies they're receiving so far. It's going really good. It's super busy. Um, we get rushes every what, hour or so. Despite the pandemic, some customers are choosing to move forward with their lives while still maintaining safety precautions. I feel excited. I feel like I don't have to be stuck at home looking out the window. While customers are excited to go shopping, Spirit Halloween is maintaining all health protocols. For now, live in Santa Maria, Patricia Martellotti, News Channel 12. All right, thanks, Patricia.